Howdy folks, Chase Odin here with Chase Odin Fishing. Today we're going to be installing the Yak Gear Deluxe Anchor Trolley System. So as the package comes in the mail, uh, you've got your pulleys right here. You've got your stainless steel screws, as well as your backings right here. You've got your mini deck cleat, pad eyes, uh, self-tapping stainless steel screws. Then you've got your two clamps. We're not going to be using these because we don't have to worry about the screws uh, hitting us in the leg. The shrink wrap and the triangle that comes with it along with the nylon rope. Now for stuff that I'm bringing to the table myself and I'd highly recommend you having, a drill helps a lot. Uh, you're going to want at least a 3 8 inch drill bit as well as a 5 32nd. Tape measure helps, a pair of scissors are good, uh, a little marker some clear silicone, some waterproof sealant, some pliers, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, some adjustable vice grips, and a lighter. Basic, first thing we wanna do is figure out where we're gonna put our pulleys. You're gonna wanna go 12 inches back from the bow, also from the stern, and two to four inches down from your little line right here. Um, this is where I marked off. Basically, I put the screws into the pulley. I screwed on the well nuts. I went like this. I took my marker and I marked, marked. Then I took my drill. This is the 3 8 inch one. And I drilled these holes out like this. And it's going to insert pretty easily in there. Right like that. And then you're going to take your Phillips and you're going to go ahead and just screw it down. Just like that. You don't want to over tighten these and this is not when you want to use the waterproof silicone. So you're going to screw it down until it's snug. Once it kind of hits that snug mark, you're going to take it off a little bit. There we go. And obviously you want your wheels facing to the inside on your pulley. Okay, those are both snug on there, sounded pretty well. On the other side, pretty much the same thing. So nine to 12 inches back, uh, two to four inches down. I already have this one pre-drilled, it's ready to go. You just wanna tighten those up until they're snug. All right, after this, we're gonna do the pad eyes. So we've got our pulleys installed, now we're gonna move on to our pad eyes. When it comes to placing your pad eyes, you want them about halfway between your front pulley and your seat and vice versa for the stern to the seat itself. I did the marking system very similar to how I did the pulleys. I just basically set it up right there. I used my marker. I said, bang, bang, there it is. I went ahead and drilled. Now for these, it's going to be the 532nd inch drill bit. And you're going to use actual silicone for this one too. Pretty basic installation here. You're going to get that lined up. Make sure that it fits. You're going to use your silicone. You can dab a little bit on each hole. Just like that. Line up your pad eye again. Once again, make sure everything lines up. That silicone is actually going to keep it sticking there, which is kind of nice. Then you're going to use your Phillips and you want to hand tighten these. Do not use your power drill for this. If you hand tighten it, it's going to tighten up a lot, lot better for these self tapping screws. You're going to want to angle your pad eyes a little bit towards the seat itself in this direction as well. It's going to help that guideline kind of run through there and keep it underneath this, this guy right here so you're not fighting it with your paddle. So we're going to install this one and the next one. So the next thing that we're going to do is install our mini deck cleat. Once again, we're going to use our 5 32nd inch drill bit and pre-drill the holes from there. And we're going to line that up the exact same way that we did the pulleys and the pad eyes, right? We're going to put it down. We're going to do markers. From there, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. We're going to use our clear waterproof silicone as well as a Phillips head. We're just going to line everything up and screw it in. 
So living in the Pacific Northwest, we got drizzled on a little bit. We had to move underneath an awning, but we're gonna keep shooting. We have all of our hardware installed from our pulleys to our pad eyes to our mini deck cleat. It's going pretty good. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your triangle and tie your nylon rope around it. Uh, just do a basic improved fisherman's knot. This is so that as the rope shrinks or gets bigger or stretches out, depending on what the sun's doing or the weather, you can always untie this and make adjustments. So with that tied on there, we're gonna take our other end and we're gonna run it through our pulleys. We're gonna go up under. We're gonna go through our pad eye. Keep coming through this pad eye. Back down through the other pulley. And then when it's done, it should be like dental floss. Back forth. Okay, folks, so we have our dental floss system in place. Um, you're gonna wanna take the other end of your nylon rope here, wrap it around your triangle piece. And before you do that, you're gonna want to run up this little piece of shrink wrap, pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna double it over and then you're gonna crimp the two little pieces of metal there. I used uh, this guy right here right there and right there and we made sure that was really tight for a few different reasons um, number one as it heats and cools this rope is going to stretch and we can always replace the rope right we want to make sure our hardware is really good though when i say hardware i'm talking about the pulleys the pad eyes the deck cleats stuff like that so when you have this tied off along with your fisherman's knot it's pretty easy you're just going to be cutting off your tag ends and I don't like to cut off my tag ends too short. I usually leave about half an inch. So one, two, right? And then I'll take a wider on this one. I'll kind of burn that down a little bit just so it makes like a nice little ball. That way it locks that knot in place a little bit better. But like I said, once this stretches out because of the weather, it's gonna heat and cool. I'm gonna be able to make adjustments as I go on that. And then for your shrink wrap, you're gonna slide this over top. Just like that. You're gonna work it over there and work it over there. Actually makes for a pretty slick system. You're gonna take your lighter one more time. And you're gonna let the shrink wrap do its thing. Just like that. Makes for a pretty nice system. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how this functions with my anchor system. Now as is, if you didn't have a retractable anchor system like I do, little DIY project, you know, you're just gonna run your anchor line through this, throw it out, tie it off, whatever. I don't quite have that system, so I'm gonna show you how I do it with mine. I have my retractable anchor system right here, uh, 550 cord, giant carabiner clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna feed it through my triangle right here. I'm gonna clip it in. And as I ride throughout the day, that's just gonna sit there and kind of hang. Um, it's really not gonna mess around with my water displacement too much. So it's gonna be good to go. Let's say for example, that I wanna anchor down. I'm gonna take my anchor. I always keep my anchor on my left hand side along with any extra rods or stuff like that. I cast right handed. So I want that area kind of free and clear behind me. I'm gonna take my anchor. I've got it rigged so that it's tied down here and then zip tied. And then I've got a nice little loop knot right here and I got plenty of rope to work with. Uh, I'm gonna clip this off right there and I'll show you how it works real quick. So that's on the ground, right like that. Let's say for example, if the wind's blowing this direction and I need my bow to turn that way, I'm gonna slide this up right here to get it towards the bow. I'm gonna let out however much anchor line I need. I'm gonna tie this off right here. 
And then the opposite way, I'm gonna tie off my anchor line right here. So I, I have a two for one kind of deck cleat system. Um, I think it's gonna be really slick. I look forward to using it. It looks like it's gonna be 100% out of my paddle line, which is gonna be great. Once again, this is Chase Odin, Chase Odin Fishing. This was the installation of the Yet Gear Deluxe Anchor Trolley System combined with my DIY retractable anchor system. If you guys want more, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. I'm willing to shoot any kind of video. Thanks for tuning in.